Hello from Weedgeneer.com. Today we're going to go over every part of bottle feeding my current White Widow CBD and blueberry strains for optimal growth. We won't leave anything to chance. We're going to measure all of our nutrients with these glass pipettes, and then once we've added them to the water, we'll run a pH and TDS test to make sure that the nutrient level is exactly where we want it. Let's go get some water from my dehumidifier runoff. I'm going to collect it in this bucket and we'll mix up most of our nutrients here so that I don't have to have a five gallon bucket on camera. Here's my dehumidifier with a hose running out of it, which runs into this collection bin. From here I have a valve that goes all the way out to a floor drain. That way I never overflow my collection bin. So we'll just grab some water and take it back over to the table. First thing we're going to do is add some TPS silica gold. Silica is huge for plants. It increases the cell wall thickness and makes them just chunky and capable of withstanding high temperatures and other stresses. Silica gold needs to be mixed with water before anything else, and it needs to be in that water for about a half an hour before you can add anything or it'll fall out of solution. Now I'm gonna mix up a batch for four gallons, but I'm gonna do it in this one gallon bucket. And this takes two to four milliliters per gallon. So I'm aiming for right around 10 and over is okay. Let's go ahead and add that one gallon mix of TPS silica gold to my gravity water bucket. And we'll get another gallon of water from my dehumidifier reservoir. Both of my plants are flowering. So we're going to be using Dynagro Bloom liquid plant food. This is calling for two to four milliliters per gallon of water. So we're going to be in there right between eight and 10 milliliters. We'll just get that sucked up and there we are, 10 milliliters into the water. Now we're going to add our next nutrient, which since I'm using dehumidifier water, which is similar to RO or distilled water, we're going to add CalMag and iron. I'm using Humboldt Secret. I've just found it to work very, very well. This calls for two to five milliliters per gallon. So here again, we're just going to use somewhere between eight and 10. Keep it simple. There we go. And the water it goes. Now we have all the nutrition for our plant in the water. It's time to give our micro rosei fungi some food. For that, we're going to give them unsulfured molasses. We don't want to use sulfured molasses. That can kill our colonies. I don't use a whole lot of this. About a teaspoon per gallon is the most, and I'm only going to use one teaspoon in all four gallons, and that should be plenty. I don't want a sticky mess, and I don't want to give anything for mold to grow on on top of my soil. So just a small amount will do. We'll get this all mixed up and put away. And give it a heavy stir to really integrate everything. Now it's been over an hour that this TPS silica has been here all by itself, so it should be ready to have other things added to it. We'll go ahead and add our nutrients in. Okay, now we need to pump this up with another two gallons of water. Back at the storage tank. Two more gallons. One. And two. This isn't an attractive mix, but it's what the plant wants. So we're going to mix this up really well, and we'll take our pH reading. We want our pH to be between 6 and 7, and right now it's a 6.22. And I know that my pH was just a little bit on the low side by measuring my runoff from the last watering, so I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to use Standard's Hydroponics pH up. And it doesn't take a lot of this to really affect the pH. We'll add one whole squirt and see where we go. That's a little less than a milliliter. And we'll stir that up. Give it a minute just to dissolve in and come all together. All right, it's been a minute. We'll go ahead and retest our pH. We're now at six and a half. And Again, I think I'm going to raise it up just a little bit more. About a half a milliliter will do it. Got it in there. Give it a mix. I really want to be fairly close to seven. 
let's see what our next reading is. Give it a little wiggle around in there. We are 6.89, and I am happy with that. That's about where I want it to be. So the next thing we're going to do is take our total dissolved solids measurement and make sure that we have the right amount of nutrients. I want it to be on the lower side. I, my runoff was a little high last time. Here is my meter, and I'm set to parts per million. And I'm looking for around 400. And I'm at 480. I'm pretty happy with 480. I'm not going to not going to dilute this down any. I'm just going to use it right at 480. That's perfect. All right, it is time to water. I will open my valve and get going. When you're done, be sure to close this valve so when you add water to your bucket next time it doesn't come pouring out the hose. Due to the way that YouTube works, I'm not going to show the actual plant itself. I'm just going to show watering it down at the base of the soil. That way this video doesn't have to be age restricted. So using my gravity water bucket, I just move around the entire soil surface and I'll put one gallon in this plant. I'll move over to the next plant and put one gallon in that. I'll come back to this plant and put another gallon and I'll stop as soon as I start to see runoff coming out of the bottom. Both plants have been fully watered and we're starting to see some runoff collection. So I'm gonna suck some out and put it in the shot glass to test it. That should be plenty. So we'll take our pH measurement first. And we know it went in at 6.8, and here we are at 6.59. That's pretty good. That's exactly where I want to be, right between 6 and 7. So you can see I went a little bit higher at my pH during the watering because I knew that this was a little bit low, and I wanted to raise it up just a tad. Now we're going to take our total dissolved solids. And I was a bit too high, so I brought it in a little bit lower at 400. And our goal is to be around 900 at this point of these plants' lives. That's pretty much exactly where we want to be. So everything is perfect. These plants are happy. If this was too high, the next time I watered, I would have put less nutrients in. If it was too low, I would have put more. That's the whole process. We're just going to clean things up. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out in the comments, or you can use the contact form on Weegineer.com. 